Hey guys, what's up? So you're one of the members of Zomunzor, and today I'm going to show you how to make your Windows operating system computer a lot faster. So the programs you need for this tutorial is a program called CCleaner and a program called OSLogix Boot Speed. Two of these programs will be in the description below if you want to download it. And don't worry, both of these programs do not have viruses. So, uh, yeah. So once you have those two programs downloaded, first go to your start menu and go to the run command. To access run, just type in run on your search bar. Once you find it, just click over here. And this will open up. What you type here is percentage term percentage hit ok and window will pop up what this is temporary files on your internet these are not your personal files you're just random files that just make your computer slower so just highlight this all and just click delete if this pops up just check this and click skip now what you do is go back to your run command but this time type in prefetch and click continue and don't worry these are not personal files so uh, yeah sorry it's taking a while to load up just highlight all this and delete it After that, right click on your recycle bin and click empty. Okay, the next thing you do is open up the program Sleep Cleaner. C click on yes. Alright, now you click on run cleaner. If it takes long, that means you have a lot of temporary files, so uh, yeah. I haven't done this in a while. And you should do this like almost every week, so your computer stays fast and smooth. So after you're done with this, just click on registry and click the scan for issues. All you're basically deleting is temporary files and just junk that you don't need on your computer. After it's done loading up, just click fix select issues and click no. Fix all select issues and it just fixed all your issues. Now what you do is go to start again, but this time you type in disk clean up. You can also access this on XP by simply clicking on all programs, going all the way to accessories, going to system tools, and just clicking on this cleanup but either way you still end up with this cleanup this won't take too long to calculate but sometimes it may take a long time depending on how much dump files you have and how many error files you have sorry sorry if it takes long for me Cause I haven't done this in a while. I used to do it every week, but then I just stopped because I became lazy. I don't even know why. I just went on the computer, talked to my friends on social networking, and just turned it off mostly every day, and I just forgot about cleaning my computer smooth and stuff. So I learned the lesson. It made my computer a lot slower, my internet a lot slower. But now, if I just keep doing this every week, my computer will maintain its speed and go a lot faster than it would if I don't do this crap. So uh, yeah. This is not crap, this is like the best, like one of the best ways to make your computer maintain its speed and stay smooth. Because if you don't do this, your computer will most likely be slow. But if your computer is already fast, you wouldn't be searching up this video and trying to make your computer a lot faster. So yeah. I don't even know why the hell it's taking so long, so I'm just going to pause the video until it's done. But after it's done, scanning, this will pop up. 
Now what you do is make sure everything is checked, then click OK. Click on Delete Files, and it just starts cleaning up your local disk C, or wherever your drive letter is. Alright, after that's done, now you open up AusLogic's boot speed, which you should have downloaded. If not, download it right now, and pretty much just follow this process. Alright, so open it up. Won't take too long to open up. Alright, as you can see, I don't know why it says started a week ago, because I did not start this program a week ago. And I don't know why this says never perform, but don't worry about anything about this. So this is probably what yours will look like, never perform on all these categories. So what you do first is start one button checkup. This will open up, click on start. First of all, it scans, and after it's done scanning, it then fixes and cleans those four categories. So I'm going to pause the video until it's done scanning. So after it's done scanning, this is what it should look like. Just click fix now. As you can see, this has successfully already been cleaned up. After it's done with the process, this is what should pop up. Then just click close. Now start, I'll start with this cleanup. Cleaner actually, my bad. Click scan, won't take too long. Click fix and finish. Now you start off like this defrag. Turn your one thread and suspended it. Clicks. Alright, hold up guys, got a virus here. I don't even know how I got it. Sorry about that. Just gonna remove this real quick. So well, uh, just click start all the this defrag. This will pop up. Just click these defrag. So this is like one of the most important parts of this whole video. This is like the number one thing that makes your computer with the full speed and potential it needs to maintain its old original speed when you like first do this process. So what this does, it cleans out every single thing. It defrags your local disk, your factory image, and your storage. So it cleans up everything. Your whole computer but it, it takes a pretty long time to do. So uh, yeah, but it's all worth it because it makes your computer a lot faster and it just like destroys all this junk that blocks your computer from growing its full potential. So this, yeah, pretty much that's what this part of the program does. At first, I didn't believe that it makes it faster, but it actually works and yeah my aim status actually says fixing my computer so it has its original speed back to order and yeah my friend just talked to me on aim saying your computer slow now I'm gonna reply to him in a bit after it's done just click close close that close that and you're pretty much done and now your computer should be a lot faster let's just test it out so I'm gonna go to youtube.com one of the websites that has a lot of HTML and a lot of so coding and such so it makes your internet slower let's see if it goes fast with the process I went through it actually went pretty quick so uh, yeah it works so thanks for watching this video hope this helped you too peace